When you use a sewing machine, the quality of your thread is super important. Never use thread that's really old, really linty, or pretty much anything that you got in a value bucket. Those little itty bitty threads that come with hand sewing kits usually aren't great for sewing machines. Anything that's really, really inexpensive probably also isn't good either. That said, you don't have to pay a fortune for thread, but there are some good quality brands that you know that you'll get good thread. One of the most common brands you'll see is Coates and Clark. These are available at Joann's and Walmart, and you can usually get them for a good deal, especially if they're on sales. These are great options if you're just starting to sew, but it is a good investment and it will save a lot of frustration if you have good thread in your machine. It usually comes in two different types of spools. This type of spool has a little groove that holds the end of your thread. This one, as you can see here, has a little notch that's cut in the edge of the plastic that holds your thread. Another common brand that's readily available is Guterman. I love Guterman thread and it's really great too. It tends to be a little bit more expensive sometimes than the Coates and Clark, but both are excellent. So before you start sewing, make sure you have some good thread that you can use in your machine. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you have bobbins. It's really important to make sure that the type of bobbin that you're using is the type of bobbin that you need for your machine. Using the wrong type of bobbin can throw off your tension and break your machine. So make sure you have the correct bobbins. For most brother computerized sewing machines, you're going to want these clear plastic bobbins. This is an SA156 bobbin, um, and the size is really important. So make sure that the bobbins you have are for your machine. And let's go to the machine and thread. Let's start by threading our bobbin. You can't sew unless you have a bobbin that's full of thread. The first thing you wanna do is identify the type of spool pin you have. The spool pin is where your thread goes. Most machines have either a horizontal or vertical spool pin. This machine has a horizontal spool pin. So you're gonna take your thread and put it on the spool pin. If the type of spool you're using is this type, the one that has the little notch cut out in the edge, make sure that notch goes towards the back. That way, when your thread winds off, it doesn't accidentally get caught on that notch. For the other types of spools, I usually have the thread coming off the bottom. Your spool cap has a smooth side and a rough side. The smooth curved side of your spool cap you want to go towards the thread. The spool cap will hold your thread in place. On the top of my machine, there's also a diagram for what I need to do to thread my bobbin. I'm going to guide my thread under the metal piece, under the plastic hook, and then when I get to this section, you can look at the diagram over here if you need to. And go around the little arm and then around the circle. So our thread's going from our spool, under the metal, under the arm, around our arm here, and now we're ready for our bobbin. To thread the bobbin, you want the thread pointing towards the center of the bobbin. And from the center, you want it to go out through the hole. It came through the center and out the top. Keeping that thread in place, take your bobbin and set it on your bobbin placement. Take this whole thing and pull it to the right. Hold your thread in place and press with your foot pedal. Once it's gone a little bit, let go of this thread and trim it off right next to the plastic so that it doesn't get caught. And then press your foot pedal until the bobbin is full. It usually stops automatically.
trim your thread, push your bobbin back to the left, and slide your bobbin off. We now have a nice full bobbin. This thread should be tightly wound and even. If it looks loose like it's falling off or it's lumpy, then you'll want to try again because you don't want to put a poorly wound bobbin in your machine because then it can give you troubles. Put your spool of thread on your spool pin just as before. You're also going to guide your thread under the metal hook and under the plastic bar just as before. After you have your thread under that plastic bar, it's going to go down this groove here, the right hand side groove. So just follow here. That right hand groove extends all the way down the front, so take your thread and pull it straight down along this groove. Then you're going to come up and around this curve here. So go under and over and up. And there's a little metal bar in here that you're going to have to hook. Raising your needle up to the top raises that metal bar all the way up to the top which makes it easier to hook with your thread. To thread this section I like to take my thread and have it rest just gently on the right hand side of that plastic. I'll guide it to the back behind that hook and then I'll rest my thread along the left hand side. When I do that, the thread will become caught on that hook. Once it's on the hook, guide it straight down. Once your thread is coming straight down, you're about ready to put it through the needle. There's just one more step. But first, you want to make sure that your sewing machine is off so that you don't accidentally poke yourself. Once your machine is off, the next thing you want to do is place your thread through this little groove. This will help the thread to stay next to the needle in position. This step can be kind of tricky. To do this, I like to hold the thread with my left hand. Then grab a little bit away with my right hand. And so I'm holding a section of the thread horizontal. Then I'll lift that thread up and over the groove. Next, you can thread through your needle. You can simply take your thread and go from the front to the back of the needle and you can thread right through the eye. Let's use the automatic needle threader. The automatic needle threader will only work if your needle is in the fully upright position. So make sure that your needle is as high as it will go. So this is my needle threader here, and I'm going to hold the thread with my right hand, and with my left hand I'm going to push the lever for my needle threader. I want the thread to go under that front hook, so I'm going to go under that hook, and then hold it to the right, and then I'm going to gently keep pushing the threader until the other set of hooks comes through to the needle. The other set of hooks has two grooves. You want your thread to be in between the two middle grooves. You want to rest it along the bottom set of arms and then push it towards the back. There's an itty bitty teeny tiny hook that's going through the eye of your needle right now and so you want it to hook up in there. So I'm resting the thread on the bottom set of arms. I'm pushing it towards the back and then I'm going to angle my thread up a little. This is going to help it to be caught by the hook and then very gently I'm going to release my left hand and loosen the thread with my right hand at the same time. So real slow. And you'll notice when this happens that you get a little loop of thread that's going through the eye of your needle and then when you pull that loop it pulls your thread through your needle. I probably should have cut my thread a little shorter and then I can cut my thread with the thread cutter on the back of my machine. You don't have to use a needle threader. If you prefer to thread by hand, make sure you have a fresh cut tip on your thread. Hold it close to the end and place it through the needle from front to back. Make 
Make sure it doesn't get twisted or wrapped around your needle. Once your needle's been threaded, lift up your presser foot, place the thread under the foot, and gently guide it towards the back. We're almost there. Now we just need to insert our bobbin. You'll notice on your machine that there's a guide for bobbin placement. This is really helpful because it reminds you of the direction you're supposed to place your thread. The first thing you want to do is remove your bobbin cover, so you just grab this little door here and pull it to the right. The casing cover slides up and you can just lift it out. Then I'm going to take my thread and it's really important that it's going the correct direction. Right now that you can see that my thread is coming off in a counterclockwise direction. So the thread is at the back. So when I place my bobbin in the machine, the thread should be going towards the back. So the thread is away from me. And I'm going to place the bobbin in the casing. Keeping it in that position, I'm going to slide it in that groove. Next, I have to go around this little bar here. So I'm going to slide it along the, the thread along the edge of the plastic until it gets that arm and then I'm going to slide it through the front and up to that groove. Once it comes off that groove I can wrap it around and at the very end there is a little blade so when I pull it the thread will come off. And then I can return my casing cover and snap it into place and I'm ready to sew.